This video is sponsored by Wondershare Recoverit. Recoverit is a powerful tool which can be used to recover deleted, formatted, or lost data from your Windows PC or Mac. Suppose if you have accidentally deleted your files permanently from your Mac, using this tool you can almost recover your documents, videos, pictures, music, and many other files very easily. The free version will let you recover up to 100 megabytes, and for an unlimited amount of data recovery, you can opt for premium edition. To know more about it, check the links in the description down below. Resurrection Remix OS is a custom ROM for the Pocophone F1 based on Android 9.0 Pi. It is another popular custom ROM which inherits from Lineage OS, Slim ROMs, Omni ROMs and more. It is well known for providing a good performance and decent battery life. If you're looking for the best custom ROM for the Pocophone F1 with more advanced features, then Resurrection Remix OS is the one you have to try for sure. I have been using it for almost 2 days now and I want to share everything about it in this video. Before starting this video guys, please subscribe to this channel, click on bell button to get notified. Okay, so this is the first build of Resurrection Remix OS available for the Pocophone F1 based on Android 9.0 Pi. In future, you can see a more stable builds will be coming up. Okay, let me quickly jump onto the About system and show you guys the detailed information about this ROM. By the time of recording this video, the version of Resurrection Remix is 2019017. This is the first initial build for the POCO and the download size is around a 470 megabytes. You can also see it uses a DARP kernel as a default kernel and it also runs on latest security patch level which is quite amazing. Now let's start exploring more about this ROM. As usual, I will talk about the features, performance and battery life. So let's start first with the features. Now inside the setting, you can see an option called a resurrection tools. Oh boy, this setting allows you to tweak your phone and customize anything according to your requirements. I'm going to quickly walk you through as some of the features it offers which I like the most. Starting with the first one, the quicktile animations. Now inside the quicktile panel, you can see whenever I interact with the quicktiles, it shows a beautiful animation. This is really eye-pleasing. I love these toggle animations and it looks fantastic. In order to enable these animations inside the quicktiles, you can go to the quick setting, Animations, here you can choose the animation style, the duration and animation interpolator. Once you have enabled it, immediately it will start working. Next up, changing the app switcher layout. Inside the Recents tab option, you can see there is a feature called a Slim Recents. If you enable it, this will replace the standard app switcher with this vertical app switcher which in fact not looks bad. For example, for the people who hates the Pi app switcher, this can be an alternate option. Next up, lock screen. Inside the lock screen setting, you can see there are a lot of options available. My favorite one is called the charging information. When you enable this feature, it will show the detailed information about the battery while charging. This is really useful. You can know how much the current is entering into the device. Also, there is an option called a face auto unlock, which helps quickly unlock the phone and takes you to the home screen after finishing up scanning your face. Next up, core animations. This setting allows you to change the animations of the system elements. For example, you can change the animation of the list view component. My favorite one is called the screen of animation. It's the animation which can be triggered when you lock down your phone. Just look at this cool animation and it looks stupendous. Next up, Pi Control. Inside the interface setting, you will see an option called a Pi. Select it and enable the Pi Control setting. Once you enable it, you can also change the theme and the Pi Gravity. Basically, it's just a location you may have to select. For example, in this case, I will choose a right. Now, in order to invoke this a Pi Control, I can simply a swipe from the right. You will see a semicircle with navigation items will be appeared. Using this setting, you can simply assimilate the navigation bar behavior. Next up, gestures. Inside the navigation bar, you will see an option called a gestures. You can enable the navigation gestures by toggling on this option. These gestures, I mean the system gestures, will quickly help jump to the home screen, app switcher, and more. For example, swiping up from the bottom center will take you to the home screen, and swiping up the, from the bottom center and holding up for a moment will take you to the app switcher, and swiping up from the bottom left or right will take one step back. Now, these are the, some of the features that this 
this ROM offers. There are a lot of options available inside the setting and I cannot explain every single feature in this video. Also all the basic functions like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, face unlock, hiding the notch, everything works fine. And yes, you can change the accent colors, styles and fonts very easily. Overall, I would say this ROM is the compilation of ROMs and it's a feast for the users. Moving on to the performance part. This ROM uses a derp kernel by default and yes, it's amazing and allows the apps opens up faster. As usual, like other ROMs, the performance is impressive. All of the apps and games opens up faster. There is no touch issues or touch lag I have noticed so far. When it comes to games, yes, it handles any game without any hiccups. I have played a PUBG at ultra high settings for one hour and I haven't noticed any frame drops or lag so far and it's simply impressive. So as usual, I ran a benchmarking apps like a Geekbench and Intuitu and these are the scores which I got on my Pocophone F1. Overall, I would say the performance is fair enough. So far, I have tested many ROMs. I would say the Resurrection Remix OS will sit a bit between a Lineage OS and Nitrogen OS in terms of performance. Next up, as usual, the main thing about this ROM is the battery life. How is the battery life and what is your screen time usage? And these are the comments which I get a lot from many people. Keep in mind, this is an initial build from Resurrection and I would say the battery life is okay. It's not that great when you compare it with the Lineage OS and Nitrogen OS or even with the Pixel ROM. I would say the battery drains up faster than other ROMs. This happens only if you play games at high-end settings. Games like PUBG, Asphalt 9 Legends at ultra high settings will consume a more battery juice than the normal. I have played a PUBG for 1 plus hour and it used around 15% of my battery. And like other ROMs, for a fair and minimal usage, you will easily get a 1 day plus battery life for sure. When it comes to screen on time usage, I get a 5 plus hours. Keep in mind the battery statistics which I get may not be the same for you. Hopefully guys, in future builds, the battery life will be better. And so the bottom line of the video, definitely this ROM is an Another milestone for the Pocophone F1 in terms of the custom ROMs, any graphic intensive applications or games you throw at it will crush them without any hiccups. And that's it guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned and more videos are coming up. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments down below. Also give me your suggestions and opinions in the comments down below. So that's pretty much about it, thanks for watching, this is KSKRIO and I will catch you in my next one, bye bye now.